Now let's learn how to find quadratic inequalities. If linear inequality is in the form of ax plus b greater than 0, then quadratic inequality is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c greater than 0, where a, b and c are real numbers with a is not equals to 0. The inequality symbols less than, less than or equal, and greater than or equal may also be used. Now let's sketch a quadratic graph y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c with the x-intercept r x equals to p and x equals to q. Let's say we have our a here is positive. We're going to have a smile graph. With the x-intercept, p and q. And if our y here is positive, then the solution of our x is going to be x is less than p union with x is more than q. What if our a is positive but our y is negative? Since our a is positive, then our graph is still going to be a smile graph. But since our y is a negative, then our solution for x is going to be between p and q. Then we can write our solution for x. x is more than p and x is less than q. If our a is negative, we're going to have a set graph. If our y is positive, our solution for x is going to be between p and q. And we write down our solution for x. x is more than p and x is less than q. If our a is negative and our y is also negative, Our solution for x is going to be x is less than p union with x is more than q. The first question, we have x squared plus 6x plus 5 greater than 0. The first thing we need to do is to make sure our coefficient for x squared, which is a, is positive. Here, our a is positive. Then, we need to factorize our inequalities. We're going to have x plus 5 times x plus 1, greater than 0. Since our a is positive, then we're going to have a smile graph. We're going to have a critical values based on our factorizations, which is negative 5 and negative 1. 
Since our y is positive, our solution for x is going to be x is less than negative 5 union x more than negative 1. Write down your answer in solution set. We're going to have x is such that x is less than negative 5 union x more than negative 1. Second question, we have 6 minus 7x minus 3x squared greater than 0. As what we can see here, our coefficient of x squared is negative. How to make it positive? Let's make it positive by multiplying both sides of our inequalities with negative 1. Then, we're going to have positive 3x squared plus 7x minus 6 less than 0. Every time we multiply with negative values, our inequalities will change the symbols. Now let's factorize our inequalities. We're going to have x plus 3, 3x minus 2 less than 0. Since our a now is positive, we're going to have a smile graph. Based on our factorization, our x-intercept or our critical values is negative 3 and 2 over 3. Let's write down the answer in interval form. Since our y here is negative, then our solution for x is going to be between negative 3 and 2 over 3. Therefore, we're going to have an open interval of negative 3 and 2 over 3. The first question, x plus 1 times with x minus 2 less than 0. Since our quadratic inequality has been factorized, let us form a 4 by 4 table. For the first column, write down the factors x plus 1 and x minus 2. You may write down x minus 2 first, later followed by x plus 1. The factors we have are x plus 1 and x minus 2. Then our critical values are negative 1 and positive 2. So we're going to have three intervals which are x less than negative 1, x is more than negative 1 and x less than 2 and x more than 2. We have x plus 1 times with x minus 2 less than 0 which means we are looking for a negative solution of x. So we're going to test some values and substitute into our factors. For x less than negative 1, let us pick test value negative 2. You may pick any test value as long as it is inside the interval. Substitute negative 2 into x plus 1, we're going to have negative 1. But since we care only for the sign, just put negative sign. Substitute negative 2 into x minus 2, we're going to have negative 4, but just write down the negative sign, which is negative. For x is more than negative 1 and x less than 2, our test value is 0. Substitute 0 into x plus 1 and x minus 2, we're going to have positive and negative. The test value for x more than 2 is 3. Substitute 3 into the factors, we're going to have positive and positive. Our factors x plus 1 times with x minus 2, then we're going to time our sign negative times negative, which is positive, positive times with negative, which is negative, positive and positive, which is positive. Since we are looking for negative values of x, the solution set is 
x is such that x is more than negative 1 and x is less than 2. The second question, negative x squared plus 3x plus 4 less than or equals to 0. Since our inequalities is negative, we are going to multiply our inequalities with negative 1. So we're going to get positive x squared minus 3x minus 4. And don't forget to change the sign since we multiply with a negative. Factorize x plus 1 times with x minus 4 greater than or equals to 0. Let's form a table. Write down the factors x plus 1 and x minus 4. Write down the values negative 1 and positive 4. And now we write down the intervals. For the first intervals, we're going to have negative infinity negative 1. For the second interval, negative 1, 4. And for the third interval, 4, positive infinity. Now, Let's substitute some value to the factors. Let's pick negative 2 and substitute into the factors. We're going to get negative sign for both factors. And we pick 0 for the second interval. Substitute 0 in both factors. We're going to get positive sign and negative sign. And we pick 5. For the third interval, we're going to get positive sign and also positive sign. Now, we are going to multiply our signs. Negative multiply with negative, we're going to get positive. Positive multiply with negative, we're going to get negative. Positive multiply with positive, we're going to get positive. If you look at our factors here, or the inequalities, x plus 1 multiplied with x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So we are looking for positive intervals. Now we have two positive intervals. We're going to combine these two positive intervals, negative infinity, negative 1, union with 4 to positive infinity. The first question, x squared minus 2x minus 15 greater than 0. Since our coefficient of x squared is positive, we are going to factorize our inequalities x plus 3 multiply with x minus 5 greater than 0. Using positive number line method, we are going to assume our factors are positive. x plus 3 is positive, x is greater than negative 3, and x minus 5 is positive, x is greater than positive 5. Draw a number line and mark the points negative 3 and positive 5. We have x greater than negative 3. We draw an open circle with an arrow heading to the right. Same goes with x greater than 5. The arrow represents positive interval that we assume positive. The area without the arrow represents negative interval. Look again at the factors. We have x plus 3 multiply with x minus 5. We are going to multiply the signs. Negative multiply with negative, positive. Negative multiply with positive, negative. Positive multiply with positive, positive. The possible solution of x is positive. Then we are looking for positive interval. 
So, the solution for our inequality is an infinite interval. X is such that X is less than negative 3. Union with X is such that X is greater than positive 5. The second question, 2x squared less than or equals to 10 minus x. We need to rearrange our inequality because our right-hand side is not 0. So we're going to move 10 minus x to the left-hand side. 2x squared plus x minus 10 less than or equals to 0. Then factorize 2x plus 5. Multiply with x minus 2 less than or equal to 0. We are going to assume positive our factors. Two x plus 5 is positive. X is greater than or equals to negative 5 over 2. And x minus 2 is positive. X is greater than or equals to positive 2. Draw a number line, mark the points, negative 5 over 2 and positive 2. We draw a closed circle with an arrow heading to the right because x is greater than or equals to negative 5 over 2. Same goes with x greater than or equals to 2. The arrow represents positive interval that we assume positive. And the area without the arrow represent negative interval. We multiply the sign. Negative multiply with negative. Positive. Negative multiply with positive. Negative. Positive multiply with positive. Positive. The possible solution for x is negative. Then we are looking for negative interval. So, the solution for our inequality is a closed interval of negative 5 over 2 and positive 2.